Good morning, James Hornsby family, on this Monday the 6th of April. It is so lovely to be talking to you. We're missing you so much. All I hear from the other teachers is, oh, it's so weird not being with the children. It is so lovely to have this opportunity to speak to you. This separation from people is it's a bit tricky, isn't it? Not only are we separated from you, but I know that many of you and many of us have got family members that we are not with at this time and that we would be used to seeing every day. Make sure, and I'm so confident you'll be able to do this, James Hornsby, make sure you keep in touch. Just a text message is lovely, a bit of FaceTime is even better. Doing things that are helpful to others. Maybe you can be the one to go get the shopping. Be that person that's going to help keep the family together and remember that we all just feel so much better when we've found out that someone really cares about us. So remind people that you really care about them. Now, there are a few things I wanted to share with you this morning, things that might help with this new virtual school that we are all operating in. Number one, Get yourself organised. And from some of the messages the heads of college have been receiving, lots of you are doing brilliantly with this. Make sure you've got your workspace ordered for the day. That whatever area you've got, whether it's a bit of your bed, whether it's the dining room table, it's a shelf in the kitchen, wherever it is that you've got everything you need to start the day. And that includes a water bottle, your exercise books, post-it notes, maybe a snack. Getting that set up at the beginning of the day will help avoid the, oh, I need to find a blue marker pen and spending 20 minutes doing it. So get everything you need laid out, ready to go. Secondly, it's really good practice to spend the first 20 minutes of your day. So let's just say that your routine is going to start at 8.30. We work really well when we know what we're doing and it's great to have the same plan each day. So at 8.30 you'll be at your very organised workspace and you won't start work straight away. You're going to plan your day. That would include, you know, have you got your your maths watch login in front of you? Have you got your Google Classroom codes? Have you got your login for your accelerated reader? <clears throat> Everything is there for you. You'll also check, what are my deadlines today? I've got three days to do my geography, but my English is due tomorrow. So you will do a little check of what have I got to do and when have I got to do it by? This might take you about 20 minutes. At that point, so this is about 10 to nine, you are going to jump up, grab some other family members and take part in the Joe Wicks exercise routine each day. We all know exercise boosts our brain, makes us feel so much better. And if your exercise routine goes as well as mine has, there'll be many laughs along the way and laughter is so good for us. So you'll have got organised, you'll have had your exercise, and then you'll be ready to do your normal James Hornsby day. If French was first lesson, you'll, you'll do your French. If maths was second, you'll do your maths. But you will bear in mind those deadlines and when you've got to meet them. So you've got the work plan, but the break plan is as important. This brain of ours is a muscle and like all muscles, it needs some rests at some point. So you need to have a break every hour, okay? Um, now, different people use that break time in different ways. Um, do a bit of colouring, sing along to your favourite song, have a dance in the garden, go and make a cup of tea. Do whatever it is that makes your brain go to a different place. It's also a really good time to check on other members of your family. Does someone, does someone need that cup of coffee? Um, does your little brother, would he really love to tell you all about the project that he's doing for his teacher? Go check on other people. 
being with other people at this time helps us keep track of how we're feeling and just makes us feel better. So you've got your exercising plan in place and you've got your breaks in place. Fantastic. In my house at the moment, um, I can empathise with how challenging it might be not to get distracted. So if I just describe to you, James Hornsby family, what's going on in my family. So upstairs in the study is my husband who is in IT, therefore he can't have one computer uh, or two computers. He has to have three screens all doing things I can't pretend to understand. So he's up there, headphones on, um, although I still can hear the music um, and it's good that we've all got our own tastes, isn't it? And I'm very glad he's upstairs. Um, and then out in the conservatory is Megan, who's my eldest. And she also works in a school, but she's on her computer designing some new displays for the new school year and singing along to Disney princesses, I think that is. Um, and then at the table to my right is Bethany, who is studying at the University of East London. And she's in the middle of what sounds like a very interesting lecture about public health. Um, and she's in a Microsoft team, so she can see her lecturer. She can see all the little faces down the side of the other people who are in the lecture today. And that's all going on around me. And in between all of that, I need to sit and get on with my work too. I promise you, James Hornsby, I know it's quite tricky to stay on track. But something that really helps me do that is getting the messages from my classes about what they're doing, seeing their work. It's just brilliant. A real highlight in the day. So get in touch. Look at the work and then using this Meacham's technique from last Monday, obviously you're going to think, right, do I know about that? Checking with the brain. You might also very sensibly have a friend on FaceTime. You might go to your buddy and say, oh, do you know about the section of Maths Watch on Pythagoras? Or you might just be able to look it up with the internet or with a book. <coughs> so you'd use that first. If those three, those can't help you, then just come straight to us. We are really enjoying being able to talk with you through that chat and help you with what's going on. Now, I'm so excited that last week we also opened the college classrooms. This is the ideal, ideal forum for us, not just because we're missing you, but also because we know that very often your day would start with, I must talk to Miss Bird. Where's Miss Watts? Miss Miss Fitzgerald, I need her. Mrs. Starling, I don't feel right today. All of those conversations, and you can have those because in the Google Classroom, I can see what you're writing. Our achievement officers can see what you're writing. It's just perfect really delighted to see that some of you have already got involved with this, the Rainbow Challenge. Um, this was produced by my 27 year old daughter who thought it was lovely so she wanted to join in. People you probably know have been putting this up in their windows so that when families are out for their one bit of exercise in the day they can look up, they can see your drawing and other people's and just know that we're all in this together. We're all going through the same things and it will put a little bit of sunshine in their day. So if you haven't done it already, do it today. Send us a picture or send us a post and tell us about it. And I have a request from our achievement officers. They would love you to get together with someone else in your family or the whole family and sing somewhere over the rainbow and send it to us in the college classroom. We would just love that. Please, please do it. Now, in addition to that, some of you have also remembered a group in our community who, for their own safety, aren't allowed any visitors. And that 
like those of the elderly people in our community. My mum is in that position. I can speak to her on the phone, but I can't see her and give her a hug. So we've been dropping off some little cards and some little parcels for her. We would love for you to write a letter to those people in our community to cheer them up, tell them what you've been doing, draw a little picture in it. If you send it to the college classroom, the heads of college will print it off and we'll go and drop it off to a care home near us. I can promise you, James Hornsby family, it will brighten their day. Thank you for doing that for us. Now, finally, our very first college challenge in our new virtual school. We would love you to use this app to plan a fabulous family meal. Now, we know it's quite tricky to get all the food that you might actually usually buy, but this app is brilliant. You type in what you've actually got. So the other day I typed in eggs, cheese and ham, because that's what I had in the fridge. And Supercook came up with 219 things I could do with it. 219. Using this, plan your fabulous family meal and send us a picture, send us a post and tell us how it went. Food and family time go really well for our well-being and just making us feel grounded in the world and not lost in the worries in our head. So super cook away, have fun. If you've got younger siblings or older siblings, get them involved as well and send us pictures and posts of your amazing meal that you have with your family. It's lovely to have this chance to speak to you. Stay safe, stay in touch, because we really love hearing from you.